Okay, we're going to talk just a little bit about lenses. Most of you are probably shooting with a lens that came with your camera, and that's a good lens to start with. It. It's, um, it's a zoom lens, but it's the right um, kind of lens for uh, portraiture. Zoom lenses are great. You can get some that zoom a lot further than others. If you really want a zoom lens and you like to carry this big of a thing on in front of your camera and you're shooting things that are distant, and then that's fun and, and get one. They're, kind of, they're expensive, but they're worth it if that's what you're doing with it. Uh, wide angle. You don't want to use it for portraiture. It's, it's nice for, for certain kinds of photography. Um, those are your lower, um, your lower focal len lengths of lens. Your portrait is 85 millimeters to 135 millimeter. Any of those are good. When you get to the wide angle, the reason why it's not suggested for portraiture is because it distorts um, the face of your, of your subject, like your nose. It, it'll make your nose big, and it's not flattering in general. So wide angle, keep that for something else. Your portrait ones are the ones that came with your cameras are a really good option. And prime lens. This one I have on my camera right now is prime. It's short and stubby. It doesn't zoom at all. I, it doesn't move. And the reason why I got this one is because the aperture is 1.8, um, which means that I can, get the, I can get my aperture down a lot lower than I can with some of these other lenses, but it doesn't zoom. So I, instead of zooming, I'm the zoomer. I'm always moving back and forth, getting the right spot. It's kind of annoying, but for the price, it was really inexpensive to get the low aperture lens. If you get a low aperture zoom lens, you're talking thousands of dollars, which, is, which would be awesome to have um, if you're willing to fork out the money for it.